This video is produced by the UCD Math Support Centre in conjunction with the UCD Access Centre. In this video we will be looking at how to handle error. So making measurements when collecting scientific data are never 100% accurate. So we need to take into account that the machines that we use or even our own senses such as our eyesight can potentially cause error to propagate through our results. So if we look at an example of measuring current, if we use a device to measure current, such as an ammeter, the ammeter may only display a reading to two decimal places, which means our measurement is only accurate to 0 0.01 amps. If we make a measurement of 1.23 amps, the ammeter doesn't tell us if our measurement could actually be between 1.225 and 1.235. This is due to the rounding, so 1.225 will be rounded up to 1.23. So we say that there is an error of plus or minus 0 0.005 amps. So this occurs in all types of measurements. So percentage error is another way to calculate the error or uncertainty of a measurement. So for cases where we know what the exact value of a measurement should be, the formula below should be used. The percentage error is equal to the absolute value of the measured value minus the expected value all over the expected value times 100. So the times 100 will turn this into a percent. In the case where we don't know what the exact value of a measurement should be, the following formula should be used. Percentage error is equal to plus or minus the absolute value of measured error all over the measured value times 100. So let's look at an example of how to use Formula 1. If we know what our measurement should be by using some mathematical formula, we can find the percentage error between the expected value and the value that we have measured. So let's say we measured 1.23 amps in some experiment that we were doing. And we expected the measurement to be 1.227 amps. So the percentage error would be the absolute value of 1.23 minus 1.227 all over 1.23 multiplied by 100, which gives us plus or minus 0.2439%. So again, the expected measurement of 1.227, as our reader isn't accurate up to this decimal point, we don't know what we've missed out on. Hence why the percentage error is needed so that we know potentially how much we are off by and what percentage. So let's suppose we don't know what our answer is supposed to be. We can still estimate the percentage error from the accuracy of the machine. So again, our measurement of 1.23 amps. And we know the error is plus or minus 0 0.005 amps. Percentage error then is equal to 0 0.005 all over 1.23 times 100, which is plus or minus 0.4%. So both formula gave us slightly different answers, but what is important is the order of magnitude of the percentage error is the same. If the answers were very different, it would mean there is something wrong with our experiment or potentially with our equipment.